Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Investing. Today is November 11th of 2022 and this video is going to be about the bank sector, also known as the banking services sector. So let's begin. I'm only going to go over five stocks, so like I always do it, uh, these five stocks, uh, they're in no particular order, they're totally random. And I'm just going to start from the bottom, work my way to the top. So first one up is L-A-R-K. Now, L-A-R-K, uh, they look pretty flat as of late, i say the past month. Uh, they have been on an uptrend for the past two years. Well, I mean, in 2020 and in 2021, but in 2022, that's when the... You know the downtrend happened a lot so looking at the first page for lark uh their numbers are pretty bad um i'm not too crazy about them uh we want to see what the ratings are for the highest price sorry for values which is 6.5 slightly higher price it says so price is pretty much the main concern uh, I want to see if they have positive cash flow or not. So let's go for the yearly results. So operating income, investing, and financing. So it looks like they have positive cash flow. Uh, even as close as or as high as the market cap for this stock. And that's pretty high actually so look they can definitely cover the dividend and apparently uh the last dividend cut if they had any um haven't had any in a while but the last raise was actually in 2016 going from 19 cents to 20. uh they're not consistent dividend uh raises so, it's not even for income, I wouldn't even buy this stock. So, for my answer for this stock, I'm going to say no to the watch list. Next one up is SBSI, Southside Bank Shares. As we can see here in 2022, definitely a downtrend. Uh, that looks self-explanatory. I hope you guys can see what I see. And as for earnings and dividends and all that for the first page, it's pretty decent. But again, it's not my selection for it. So we have dividends. Uh, and they also provide special dividends, but are they frequent payer for special dividends? It does look like it. Uh, but they are not paying much, only two cents in 2017, two cents, three cents, five cents. Um, that doesn't really count as a special dividend. It's just a nonsense payment. It's pretty nonsense for a payment like that, six cents. Uh, even as far as comparing to the share price, it's just not worth it, I think. But uh, they are, it is what it is, they are consistent. Uh, special dividend payer as long as they paid one penny uh, and the consistency is there they are recognized for that so for the splits uh, two for one so not bad but overall this stock uh, I'm gonna say no as well uh, we will see the balance sheet real quick where is the cash flow The only problem really I have is the cash flow when it comes to the banks. So they're in a good position. A $1 billion market cap. Uh, even the dividend, I think it's too low for me. There's other stocks that are better than that. But if you really do like banks, I mean, again, uh, keep creating those uh, stocks on the watch list. 
and uh, just be careful out there. So active volume, uh, they don't give a raise. Sorry, they give a raise um, every year. It's not as strong. Uh, for this company, I will say yes, actually. That's BSI. Not bad. Yeah, positive cash flow and uh, everything seems to be working pretty good. Next one up, MPB. Mid Pen Bank Corp. So we can see here. It looks like they are an uptrend. We see here that then it dips down a little bit and it's starting to take off a little bit. Uh, but again, anything can happen. But so far, this stock looks like it's on a tear for the uptrend. Uh, for income, I'm not too crazy about it just by looking at it. Uh, we're going to see what's the highest rating for quants, which was the pricing. No, actually, momentum and pricing is about the same rating. Overall rating was a 3 out of a 5. So, this is a cheap price and has momentum. Um, I guess I sort of agree. But again, this stock does... Not even pay a dollar for the whole year. Well, but I still want to look at the dividends. I want to see if they pay rising dividends. So for this stock, they are paying 20 cents, obviously. But uh, I'm looking at this. Sorry, so 2021 ends here. So from 19 cents, 20 cents. So a dollar raised. Then we see 18 cents. Uh, 15 cents. Yeah. Uh, this stock. Let me see the cash flow machine here. Where is the cash flow machine? Here it is. So right here, we're going to look at the positive or negative factors here. So we have pretty good financing. I can see why. They don't have so much negative cash flow. And for a bank of that size, 532 million, uh, it's not bad. It's a really small market cap compared to others. I'm used to seeing companies in the billions, but uh, this stock, um, last five years, it's actually been doing pretty good. So uh, for this stock, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh they happen to outperform um in cash flow for the year ending of 2022 i wouldn't be surprised if they have a good uh, cash flow uh, factor so for this stock i think i'm gonna say yes to the watch list say yes i mean i uh, summary again, uh, I like the cash flow, they, you just you gotta do slightly better, even aside from these market conditions, because that's who we know what stocks are going to do well in the future, even if they're holding up somewhat now. So, we have next one up is GGAL, it's called Grupo Financiero, so uh, self-explanatory, Chart went down, stood flat, stayed that way past three years. Well, 2022 is coming at a year end, so past three years have been flat. And two years prior for that, right here, as you can see, it's been going on a downtrend. And this was the end of it. That was scary. This move here, that line, straight down, that's a pretty scary move. So, as for this stock... Uh, you would think this stock is pretty active. Uh, based on a volume that high, that's pretty high for a piece of crap company like that with a share price that low. 
uh, and typically low pricing stocks like that are, I don't know, I just find them risky. You really got to just dig deep into the, this stock. Elite stocks like that. So we have, uh, I want to see the quant ratings real quick for this one. So even analysts are saying underperform. Um, they don't like the inactivity, I guess. Wow, so for this stock, it's been losing earnings. Uh, that's not a good sign. And the difference for 52 week high and low is pretty low. 8 cents dividend is horrible. Earnings are only, only 1.7. It's horrible. Uh, I think I made my decision. I'm going to say no. Definitely. Uh, too many negative factors going on. Next one up is ACBI, and this is the last one. So, uh, it looks like it's inactive. So, the start of 2022, right here, that was pretty much the end of it. And it, it looks like it was going to go on an uptrend. But, uh, who knows? They probably sold out. They probably sold out the company, made it private, whatever. Uh, South State merges right here with Atlantic Capital Bank. So they're doing mergers. And that's what happened. Banks are buying each other out. So we have here no quant rating, no technical analysis, no nothing. Uh, this stock is just very inactive. Uh, so obviously this company is a no. Uh, there's a lot of inactivity and I would assume some inaccuracies because uh, people just want to stay away from the stock. So again, like I said, ACBI, it's not a good stock. So that is pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys. Stay tuned for these special dividend uh, videos. So I have one for the special dividends coming up pretty soon. And then I have another one for the uh, special dividends portfolio. So actually um, a video for the month and then a video for a separate portfolio. So anyhow, after that, I'm going to continue with the banking services sector. There's still many, many banks to continue and look at. So again, uh, be careful out there. Things are crazy. Uh, it's not what it seems. I mean, I know the markets are on a tear these next few months. And everything's looking really good. And people think we're going to go for a bull ride. Um, but I would expect for next year, starting for the Q1, it's going to look the same all over again and drop even more the way things are going so other than that uh that's all i have for you guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one